I'm Emily Farrell, and I'm the principal here at Wellspring Prep. And I'm Aaron Nordic, I'm the assistant principal. We're really excited to hear that you're interested in coming to Wellspring Prep for your high school career. I want to start by telling you a little bit about our curriculum. We are a college prep school, however, we have a lot of support available to our students. Ninth graders typically take English 9 or 10, Algebra 1 or Geometry, Spanish as an elective, Biology, and then either World History or AP World History. Their sixth class is an elective of their choice out of gym, music, or art. After ninth grade, there are a lot more choices in terms of classes that are available to students because they've gotten some of the foundational requirements out of the way for their high school career. There are different programs available, different options available, including dual enrollment, AP courses, our early college program after that ninth grade year. In terms of support, our curriculum is rigorous. However, our teachers do all offer tutoring on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. And if you really need extra support, if you just reach out to your teachers, they will work with you to make sure you get the support that you need. In addition to our teachers, we also have an amazing support staff here at Wellspring that work really hard to ensure that students get the support that they need in their classes outside of what the teachers can offer. So to graduate from Wellspring Prep, a student needs to be accepted to a four-year university. As well, they have to complete two college-level classes, such as AP courses. We do have a dress code at Wellspring Prep that includes khaki pants or navy pants and appropriate colored polo shirts. We really hope that you learn a lot more about Wellspring Prep throughout this little video that you're watching right now. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Hi, I'm Grace Point. And I'm Sophie Reed. I'm a part of the debate team and student council. I'm a part of NHS and student ambassadors. Hi, welcome to the gym. Um, this is where we host athletic events like volleyball, basketball. Um, and it's also where we hold a lot of assemblies, so like for mostly student council, some NHS things, and of course we have student of the month assemblies. We pull down our bleachers, Wellspring Prep Story High School bleachers, and the whole school comes and we do fun things like pie teachers in the face. And then of course the sports are always just fun. We're part of the Alliance League. Those are all the schools that are in our conference, so those are the ones you have to be competitive with when you're playing volleyball, basketball, soccer bowling, anything else you want to compete with. Our gym is a recent addition. It's also where we have any speakers if they come and speak. So teachers will have speakers come if it's pertinent to their class where we had a Holocaust speaker a couple of years back. So it's a really great place to get everyone in their school together. This is our um, lab room. So any of our science classes that we have, they can use this space to do any labs or experiments that they might need. Um, we offer a variety of science classes here at Wellspring. We have just regular high school level classes, um, biology, chemistry, and anatomy slash physiology. And then we also have some AP classes. So we have AP biology, that's a hard class, but it's a really great challenge and it's very interesting. And then we also have newly this year, AP chemistry. Um, and we have a new teacher, she's very talented. She's actually writing a textbook, so something to consider. And additionally, we have AP Environmental Science with Mr. Kapolka, and it's a really fun class. Normally, they do a ton of field trips. Like, I know they went into the Grand River, I think, and were like, I don't know what they do. It's really <laughs> smart science things, yeah. but it's really fun. It's cool. You'll love it. One of our art teachers here at Wellspring won the installation category at Art Prize. She wrote a book called Sonder, Miss Altieri. She's amazing, and she teaches 2D, 3D art and AP Studio Art here. In addition to those two classes, we have foundational art classes as well as digital media art. So if you're interested in design or like advertisement, that'd be a really good choice for you. Um, Mrs. Owens also teaches art in addition to Mrs. Altieri. Behind us are some of the student art pieces that our talented Wellspring artists have made through the years. Um, this is AP Studio Art and around the room is 2D, 3D and other implements from other classes. So this is our weight room. As you can see, we just got a new floor. It's very nice. Um, we have three squat racks. We have numerous barbells, lots of dumbbells. And normally, we have a weightlifting elective. And you can come in. You can set goals. We have our athletic director, Mr. Stickney. And he will teach you how to lift weights. He'll 
like hear what your goals are for fitness or whatever you're trying to do and he'll like tailor the workouts for that goal. He's really good, very talented. Where we work out for track, Mr. Sticky's dad, we call him Big Stick. He is a football coach and also a former wrestler. So he has a lot of background and he runs the shot put and discus program for the varsity track team. And this is where we work out. So this is one of our English classrooms, Mrs. MK's. And we offer a lot of English classes here. So of course, English 9, 10, 11, and 12. Additionally, we have some AP options. We have AP Lang, or Language and Composition, but AP Lang, and AP Lit as well. So AP Lang is more like writing essays and analyzing texts. And then AP Lit is like reading all like tons and tons and tons, and tons of reading. But yeah. it's really good for the book nerds among us. Each of our English teachers have a great arrangement of different books and all different genres. Um, the other great thing about a well spring English class is that it's more than an English class. They get into lots of issues that hit close to home and it's always in a welcoming and warm environment and it ends up helping a lot of students get to know each other and have a better understanding of themselves and the world around them. So it's really cool. So this is our band room and right now we don't have band this year because of everything going on. But next year we do hope to have um, band classes again. So we have concerts multiple times a year. I think sometimes we've gone to um, competitions, just depending on the band and what you're interested in. We've had jazz band in the past, as well as wind ensemble, and then just like a more like intro to band kind of thing. Um, these are some drums, and then this is a cello. We also have intro choir and concert choir. Um, it's a really great way to have an introduction to the music program here at Wellspring, and then concert choir, so then we get a little bit more Advanced. So this is our college acceptance board. Um, we put it right at the front of the building because we're focused on college here, college prep school. Um, at Wellspring, one of the graduation requirements is to be accepted into a four-year university. Now, accepted does not mean that you have to attend that university, but you do have to like get in, get the acceptance letter. Um, but you're not on your own with that. There's a ton of support here. Uh, we have phenomenal teachers, a very involved staff, and additionally this year, Miss Lovers um, took on the college counselor role, so she's been great with putting together presentations and sending out emails for scholarships, and we just had, I think, Tuesday, um, like a little like seminar kind of thing about applying for the Common App, which is a really helpful tool when you're thinking about going into college or junior and senior year. So this is a very college-focused environment, but it's not scary, you're not on your own. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Our teachers really are amazing. It's like a little family here, and that's super cliche, but it's true. Um, we also have some student-run programs that we're getting going. We have Student Council has an SAT program that we're that we're starting up this year. Um, it's gonna help students get pre-SAT prep, which is usually very expensive, and it'll help with the college process in general. Um, behind us, every year we have a children's book chosen that we then use to. Um, as the theme for our college acceptance wall on each of these stars will be names and already are some names. Hey, there's a great point of people that are accepted to colleges and at each time to get an acceptance. We also like to put stickers of their acceptance on our lockers. Hi, I'm Miss Lovers. I am serving as the college counselor this year. So I work with our seniors who are anticipating applying to colleges as they plan what, where they want to attend after graduation. For most of our students, this means a four-year college or university, but a lot of students take advantage of our Grand Rapids Promise Scholarship. Our Grand Rapids Promise Scholarship is available to students who want to attend GRCC for their first two years after high school. All you have to do is fill in a FAFSA form to gain access to those funds, and this is also accessible to students who live in the city of Grand Rapids and who have attended Wellspring for their junior and senior years. And I'm the Early College Success Coach for our Middle College Partnership with Davenport University. This program gives you the opportunity to start taking college courses as a sophomore. This means that you are going to be transitioning slowly through your years at Wellspring from a high school student into a college student. You will be enrolled at both Wellspring and Davenport, and you will have a fifth year of high school. While this may sound interesting, this means that you are going to be primarily a college freshman during that fifth year, but you're receiving support from Wellspring and from Davenport at the same time. Our goals are to help you gain the academic skills that will help in those college courses and your future career. If you're interested in joining the program, you can sign up and register to apply your freshman year 
and join college courses the following fall. We also have students who have started as 11th graders, so if you don't make that decision right away, you still have a chance to join. We would love to have you join and we'd love to work alongside you as you enter this program to plan for your future. Uh, I'm Colin Stigby. I'm our athletic director and PE teacher. At Wellspring Prep, we offer uh, in the fall, we have boys soccer, volleyball, and boys and girls cross country. In the winter, we have boys and girls basketball and bowling. And then in the spring, we have girls soccer, uh, boys golf, and then boys and girls track and field. We compete in the Alliance League. Uh, in the Alliance League, we have a lot of the area of charter schools and then some smaller Christian schools. Um, just here in the Grand Rapids area, we've got, uh, we've got Grand River Prep and West Michigan Aviation. And then along that, we have Potter's House and Tri-Unity Christian. Um, my name is Longar. Uh, I play basketball for varsity at West Point. My name is Lillian, and I play volleyball, basketball, and soccer. Uh, my name is Matthew. I play soccer, and I play, I play soccer, and I play varsity basketball. Is it part of the balance academic and athletic Um, balancing the two, it's kind of challenging, but um, I feel like as long as you do work outside of school and study, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. I think you can work it out if you use your free time after class wisely, because you may think 10 minutes at the end of a class period isn't enough, but if you use that, normally you'll go home and you won't have a big workload, so. Um, for me, like the biggest key is like to have a schedule for everything and to like maintain, like she said, a balance over everything. It's like make sure I do everything on time and do a little bit of homework every day. So like that's how I maintain my grades. What's your favorite part about being on a team here at Wellspring? Um, my favorite part about being on a team is uh, the chemistry that we got and the um, moments that we have together, the fun moments and winning games and stuff like that, yeah, little stuff. I think the whole team aspect of having people to rely on, whether it's on the court or off the court or the field or whatever, and just having people that will always have your back. To me, uh... Like, the team and, like, the players that I build, like, a relationship with is what I like. Um, there's some players that we ha have strong relationships with and, like, that I know their skill and how they play. So it's, it makes it more competitive, and I like the competition. So, yeah. For me, I've been in the debate team since it formed. Um, it's been really helpful in public speaking and learning about politics and helps my writing in all other subjects. And for student council, I love being able to put on events that help make my school more of a community. And I love getting to talk to people and see what everyone wants to have going on. It's a lot of school spirit, it's really fun. Okay, and for NHS, um, it teaches you a lot about leadership and how to work with a team. So you have a lot of different types of personalities and people all with different ideas sometimes. And you can work together to make one really good idea at the end. You can also spend a lot of your time, not a lot, a healthy amount of your time um, focusing on bettering the school and your community. And then for student ambassadors, you can um, work with your fellow ambassadors to promote a welcoming and friendly environment for new freshmen and also new students.